Hi, welcome to Dallas Insightful Tarot. This is going to be a mini love reading for my lovely Scorpios. Okay, remember to take what messages resonate, leave what doesn't. Let's go ahead and jump into this really quick. Okay, spirit, angels, guides, ancestors, and angels of white light, please give me the messages that my sexy Scorpios need to know right now for the month of May. Please give me any messages that my sexy Scorpios need to know for the month of May, please. What's coming towards them? Okay, we have, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Okay, so there's something negative that you are holding on to, maybe your thoughts. Um, Spirit's wanting you to release that. Let's find out what this is going to be about. So maybe this has something to do with um, your attitude towards the situation right now. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, let me do a couple shuffles of these because I didn't do that yet. Oops. Oops. If I can get them. They're new, so they're like hard to hold. Okay. Give me some information about the situation right now that's going on with my Scorpios and the person that's most on their mind, please. Oops. This one. That's us. Intense chemistry. Ooh. Engagement. Okay, we have underestimated, not given enough credit. Financial issues. Soul purpose, higher calling, intense chemistry, engagement proposal, higher level of commitment, and then the same card underestimated. Okay, so let me see what I got here. So I feel like there's somebody that you have an insane and intense chem chemistry with. I feel like you are both very, very attracted to each other. Let me zoom in on this for you so you guys can see better. Maybe this works better. Okay, so I feel like there's somebody you definitely have an insane kind of mystery with. Um, it's very intense, um, which doesn't surprise me because you are Scorpio, you sexy motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, um, I feel like this person um, maybe having some financial issues right now. Maybe they have acted, um, maybe they've showed their ass in some way. I feel like in... You've probably maybe underestimated them, not given them, them enough credit. You know, maybe you felt like they couldn't love you the way that you needed to be loved. Um, but I feel like this person sees that you guys have a sole purpose together, a higher calling, that you're meant to do something together um, for the higher good of this world. I feel like this person is wanting to offer you some sort of um, higher level of commitment. It doesn't have to be an engagement. Could just be something like moving in, could be making it official, you know, I mean, um, it doesn't have to be a proposal, but that is definitely on the table. They could be just thinking about engagement, possibly. Any other messages, Spirit? Okay, we have vulnerable, at risk, guarded, opening up. So, we also have rumors. So I feel like you could have probably heard some rumors about this person, um, maybe that weren't so good, and maybe that's what caused you to, to under, under uh, can't speak. Maybe this person has a hard time speaking. Um, I feel like maybe that's the reason why you have under, underestimated this person, because of maybe possible rumors you've heard that you can't ignore. 
And um, I feel like this person hasn't been very vulnerable. They haven't been willing to open up and that's kind of turned you off. Okay. Ooh, that one popped out quick. Okay. I feel like this person has possibly had the rumors of this being known as a player or a fuckboy. So, you know, that'd be kind of hard to ignore, especially as a Scorpio. We don't really um, take light to that. Any other messages, Spirit? Okay. Manipulation and moving. I feel like part of the rumors could have been um, that this person was a player and fuckboy and that they manipulate. They play a lot of games. They mishandle a lot of um, relationships and possibly use people. But I feel like this person is going to be moving soon. Or you might be moving soon. Let's see. Spirit, clarify moving. Ooh, that was fast too. These are just popping right out because they're new. Um, I feel like there's foul play. Oh, okay. Wait a second. I think I'm getting a story, guys. Give me one second. I feel like this person has did something bad. They could be in a relationship. Let me see. Um, clarify foul play, please, spirit. Divorce. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. This is exactly what I was thinking. Okay, so I feel like this person is in a relationship. Maybe they could have been coming at you, trying to, like, get with you or hook up with you, and this person was married, unhappily married, and you were like, no, mm -mm. get away with that. I'm not dealing with that, and I felt like you called... called foul play you're like no shit no hell no i'm not getting in this situation like that um no mm -mm, get away with that and i feel like maybe you really did like this person possibly um maybe part of the reason why they're in a happy marriage or relationship is they're having financial issues and um mm. but this person could be no you could have just you could have just assumed that this person was a fuck boy and they were manipulating you because they were in a in a marriage or wow. And you just called foul play on in the but I feel like this person has been caught. Ooh. I feel like they've been caught. And now they're moving. They're moving somewhere else. They're moving closer. Maybe they haven't told you this. But they're moving out of the house with that person and they're getting divorced. They're not happy no more. Spirit's saying they're not happy. I'm right. Spirit's saying yes, this is right. Ooh, Scorpio, what the hell have you got into? Okay, let's jump into the tarot. Let's see what's going on. This is a juicy story. It wouldn't surprise me. I guess shouldn't be surprised. This is a Scorpio story. So you guys never, ever, <laughs> you'll never take it light. It's always something juicy. Let's find out what's going on, Scorpio. Insane chemistry. So you definitely see chemistry with this person, but... I feel like you're questioning, is this worth it? You don't want to be putting no bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even blame you. <laughs> oh, this isn't even the same deck, and I don't know why this kind of just, like, popped out at me, but i just seen stalking on the bottom of this card, so this person could be stalking you. Let me see. I'm going to pull a couple cards on these. Oh, come on. It's not going to pop over. Jeez, here we go. I can't take all those. Let me see. So, I feel like um, this person was definitely cheating on somebody. But you guys have insane chemistry together. Sexual chemistry and attraction. Jeez. Look. Intense chemistry. Sexual chemistry. Cheat. Whew. Scorpio. So, somebody's laying down that pipe. Good, I'm hearing. <laughs> or somebody's got that wet kitty. Jeez Louise. Okay, let's see what else. Journey. Okay, let me clarify journey. Clarify journey, please. Karmic. Ooh. Is that karmic? Hierophant. 
heartbroken. Let me driven. Okay, so here's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing this person has cheated on the spouse or they're wanting to cheat. Something like that. And they've been on quite the fucking journey with this karmic. They can't take it anymore because they're missing you. They're heartbroken. They can't stop thinking about you. And I feel like right now this person has been currently money driven and focused on their financial issues because obviously we saw that they were having money problems. Um, I feel like you haven't trusted this person because they were known as a fuckboy. You couldn't avoid the rumors. I feel like they ghosted you at some point and which made you all that more, you know, distrusting. You can, you're like, what the hell are you serious? I'm not gonna, I can't trust you. I feel like this could have possibly been a traumatic experience for you. I feel like maybe you've never been ghosted before. And it really fucked with you. Really messed with your head. I'm sorry, I don't mean to drop the F-bombs, but I mean, actually I'm not. It's my channel, but they were unable to let you go. This popped up too. There's another one right here. What is this? Opening up? Shit. So this person is unable to let you go. They're heartbroken. They want you back. They, I feel like they, they know they fucked up. They know they should have never ghosted you. But they're wanting to open up to you now, Scorpio. Yes, yes, yes. They're wanting to open up to you. Woo what does it say? What does it say? They have a fear of rejection. They're overthinking they're stressed they have anxiety they're not knowing what in the hell they're gonna do or what they're gonna say because they know they have totally fucked this up by ghosting you and putting you in a third party situation which you know nobody i feel like uh, nobody wants to be put in that situation but they're they've been terrified i feel like they wanted to leave this person sooner but they were so scared of rejection and what you were going to say this started out as just a hookup that's it just a hookup and I feel like it definitely was something that they were not expecting to become anything more. But they can't get over you, Scorpio. They can't quit thinking about you. That doesn't surprise me. I feel like this was toxic. The situation that they're in with the person right now. I feel like that marriage is very toxic. I feel like the person they're with is very codependent on. They're codependent on them. Um, this person had a lot of immature communication with you in the past. And possibly because they were very wounded from the relationship that they're in. Um, like they're trying to lick their wounds over there. But they're moving on from that person is what I'm hearing, Scorpio. They are done with that situation. They are, they, they know that that's not good for them. They know it's toxic. And they feel like you're their soulmate. Oh, they feel like they're your soulmate. And they have these obsessive thoughts about you. Non-stop, I'm hearing. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay, let's see what we have. Let's jump into the tarot. So we got a little bit. Let's go ahead and um, let's recap what we got. So we got somebody that you have met that was married who wanted to hook up with you. You possibly heard a lot of rumors about this person, um, about them being, you know, having some money issues, you know, being a fuckboy, and... Um, I feel like, but you do have this insane sexual chemistry with them. You do have an intense chemistry. I feel like you guys see, um, I feel like you see eye to eye. I feel like you, you under, you just get this person and I feel like they just get you. It's just something that's so easy and that's what drives you fucking crazy. Okay. I feel like you have kind of like turned pessimistic about the situation, negative Nancy, which hello, I don't even blame you because of the fact that they are married. Um, but you cannot get over this chemistry. You've, I feel like you've never had chemistry like this with anyone else. And with the fact that they came in with immature communication, that was a big ass turn off too, right? But I feel like this person, um, they're unable to let you go. I mean, they're, they can't get past this, you know? They feel fucking stupid for ghosting you after, you know, probably hooking up with you. And um, now they know they need, they want to open up. But their fear of just rejection is just like totally freaking them out. They're having obsessive thoughts, you know, you know, what ifs and what up, what this and that. I feel like this is going to be a long journey with this person. I feel like you're meant to meet them because they're your soulmate. And I definitely feel like um, right now, I feel like they are trying to move on from the person that they're with. They're very wounded. And I feel like they're trying to heal before they come to you. And I feel like you guys... Y'all could possibly be meant to be. Right now they're heartbroken though, Scorpio. They miss you so much. 
Okay. I feel like you're just terrified because you've been through shit and you don't want to go through any more shit. I feel like, you know, we just, mm -mm, who, nobody wants that. Look, on the bottom of the deck, drowning emotions. Drowning in emotions. This person is deep in their emotions. They could be another Scorpio. If this is an intense, intense, you know, connection, and I'm feeling like it is. Um, it's an unf unforgettable love. Okay, I'm going to stop pulling these. Okay, let's jump into the tarot and see what else is going on. I want to be Snoopy. Let me see. Let me see. If these messages are resonating, please hit that like button, guys. Uh, which cards do I want to use? Okay, we'll see. I'm going to use this. So, this here's tarot. Okay. All right, so here's tarot. Let's jump, jump into this. Okay, spirit, give me some messages, clear messages for my Scorpios right now and the person that they're thinking about most in their mind. Messages for my Scorpios. Ugh. Why can't my hands be bigger? I already have man hands, but I seriously can't. I suck at shuffling. I feel like they're always too big for my hands. Okay. Let's go. Let's break the deck and then we'll pull the messages. Spirit, please give me direct and clear messages so I understand. Guys, by the way, I do not read reversals. Um, so if you see me flip the card, that's just how I read tarot. Okay. Okay, give me some messages reported to the person on, my, on Scorpio's mind, please. Okay, so we have Ten of Wands. There's fast. Three of Pentacles. Oops, that fell off the top. I did not, that didn't actually come out. Okay. Here we go. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Shit. <laughs> this, is, this person, damn. Death. Whew. Bottom of the deck. Seven of Wands. Woo-wee, Scorpio. What do we have going on here? And Jeez. I don't know what to say. Hmm. Okay, give me a second. Let me see what it's got here. Hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> let's start off with the overall energy, which is going to be... Oops, I picked that up. Y'all see... Oh, wait, you can't see that. Let me move this over real quick just so you know I wasn't lying. See, as I picked this deck up, I didn't realize that I didn't pick up the bottom card, which, boom, is the lovers. So I feel like that might be significant. Um, so here's what I see. <laughs> lovers. This is a really good reading. I like it. I like it. Okay, so seven of wands is the overall energy of the deck. Okay, sevens is all about it. Sevens represent a time for assessment, okay? Um, you know, as we decide what is working, what isn't, what we want, what we don't have, what we believe in, what we don't believe in. We usually uncover we usually uncover a choice in the seven though. Okay. Um we have to we have to decide whether we want to take a stand or take action or take something from someone and the sevens. Um it's an important moment, you know, because once we get to the eights, then we don't have time to think because ace eights are very fast moving. So I feel like um 
with the sevens with the seven of wands being here, I feel like um it's when you it it's when you re you reach certain levels of achievement and you know it's natural to evaluate our lives in order to determine our next steps, you know. Um the sevens bring energy of assessment to the forefront basically. You know, it represents the seven of wands represents a time of crisis. You know, you feel the pressure from all your angels and you might not know what to deal with first, but you have the determination and you and it must be handled in, in that correct order or perhaps find a way to make it all stop with one perfect act, you know. Um, you have some some advantages in the situation if you are being attacked, being assessed, not not whether to fight, but whether it's worth fighting over, you know, the bigger picture, making it easier to notice potential consequences. You know, you have choi choices and the information needed to make them. Although you will have to think fast as events are develop, uh, you know, they're unfolding and they're developing quickly. And I feel like that is about the situation with this person coming in and them, you know, professing their love for you. So I feel like this is going to come in very quickly. You're, you know, I feel like you need to make a decision quick. You can't, you know, wait on it for too long because once the eights get there, boom, time just is speeding up. Eights are all about moving quick, swiftly. Um, so I feel like, um, you know, you know, it's about defending yourself. It's about protecting. It's courage. It's standing up for what you believe in. It's being brave. And it's taking action, you know. So with the it being a fire and representing fire, I feel like it's passion and courage and drive. It's um, goals and your desires and actions. So I feel like it's going to be up to you, Scorpio, to decide whether you want to take action in this person or not. Are you passionate about them? I mean, you do share an insane chemistry and, an ins and a very good sexual chemistry. So I feel like, are you going to take this risk? I mean, you that's ultimately in your choice. I feel like the ball is going to be in your court. Do you want to take this risk with this person? Because I feel like this person is very serious about you. And here's why I say that. Okay. First of all, we pulled the lovers. I feel like that's also significant. I feel like it could be something um, related to... Oh, I just also noticed something. Interesting. I'll say that. First, let me say, okay, so six is on the bottom of this card is the lovers. We have six, seven. There's also seven of pentacles. I don't know if you can see that. It's also the seven of pentacles in this reading. Then we have, uh, oh yes, we do have eight. Shit, this is crazy. This is a journey for sure, just like it said at the beginning of the reading. We have eight on strength. We have nine of pentacles. I'm not going to pick that up. Then we have ten, ten, ten. One is a musician, ma ma magician. What the hell? I have a problem saying that. And then, gosh, we're, you know, and the sevens can also represent, they're also a lot, a lot like the twos. So if we put that one and the two together, which this can also represent, 12, and then 13, I know you see that, 13. Wow, this is crazy. What a great reading. This is a very, very insane, um, I feel like, tower just popped out that just popped out of the middle shit this is crazy okay okay let's okay let's start here okay so i feel like this is a very significant connection i feel like this is divine this could be a twin flame connection if i'm being completely honest with you um i know not a lot of people believe in that but i definitely feel like this one is a very very this is definitely feels twin flame to me okay so here's what i see this person right now is currently they're currently thinking about the Ten of Wands. So I feel like what they're thinking about is about, you know, the situation with the person that they're already in a relationship with and how that person and them have gone through so much. And um, they're needing to walk away from that situation because it no longer serves them. It's finally accepting the things that have been difficult and um, moving on from them, you know, and and still having, you know, this person's been through a lot. Look, she walked all the way down that damn hill with that big ass, whatever that thing is, with all her stuff on there, but she still got the willpower to do it. You know, she's not crying on the floor about it. 
she's been through some shit. And I feel like this person has been through a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. You know, 10 is the most that we can go through. It's the most, like, painful. Um, so this person's been through a lot. But I feel like they're really w willing to take this risk with you because she, if you look at her, this is his, this is his energy or her energy, whoever, the, your person's energy. This is your energy over here, and this is the mutual energy. They're looking towards you. And they're like, okay, I'm going to you. I'm coming straight to you. And I feel like this person is definitely... Um, they want to do this right. I feel like this person has very deep feelings for you, whether you know that or not. What they're currently feeling right now about you is they are currently trying to manifest you. They are trying to do everything in their willpower to bring you into their life or to make things right between the both of you. This person wants you. You are the end all be all to this person. This is it. You are like the goat, the greatest of them all. Okay, that's how they're feeling about you um how they're viewing you is strength so they view you as somebody who's very strong somebody who can make things happen somebody who is um courageous somebody who's beautiful somebody who is um not afraid to take chances and I feel like they admire that about you then I see the little infinity tattoo up here I feel like they feel like you're they feel like you guys are meant to be together forever. Okay? And the heart on that thing. Yes, I feel like this person um, is extremely in love with you. I feel like they find you very beautiful, very sexy. And I think that the, your ambition really, they really admire that about you. I feel like they admire the fact that you're ambitious and you go after what you want. So I don't know if you've spoken about this to your person before or not, but I feel like if you haven't, they still, they already know. They're snooping. I, they're definitely snooping. I feel like they're definitely um, spying on you. I feel like this person is very intrigued by you. They find you mysterious, which isn't surprising. You're a Scorpio. You know, we don't let people know everything about us. Even after years of knowing us, you still won't know a lot of shit about us. And it's not because we're secretive. We just don't open ourselves up and put ourselves out there like that okay so the mutual I mean no let's go ahead and do your energy first okay so your energy right now is the seven of pentacles okay the seven pentacles is somebody who has put in a lot of work and they are just waiting for the things that they the work that they put in to come into fruition they're waiting for those things to grow um, I feel like they are um, I feel like you're 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 really setting back and you're thinking about all the hard work that you put in and I feel like you're you're wondering if this is something that you want. You're wondering if it's going to be worth your time. Are you ready to take this to the next level because you put so much work into your life and you're afraid of somebody coming in and stealing that from you, you know? So you're evaluating this situation. You're reflecting on everything. You're trying to measure out the investment and your harvest and see if it's going to be worth it, you know? It, it also represents earth. So you could have um, earth energy in your chart. Um, but I feel like you are, your manifestation, you're manifesting too. You're trying to manifest things and to see what's going to happen for you. I feel like you're trying to make it an assessment. You're, you know, the sevens bring the energy of assessment into the forefront. And that's what you're doing. Okay. So. Definitely, I feel like it's a time in life when you've done all that you can do, but you're still, you still have to wait, whether it's for fruit ripening on the vine or, you know, a pie baking in the oven. I feel like, um, or an elaborate, you know, experiment. I don't know. I feel like don't rush the fruit, the pie or the experiment. I feel like the only, this only leads for it to ruin, you know, unlike the time of wanting, you know, waiting and the, the three of wands, this period should be used for your review to see if everything you put in is going to happen for you. Okay. So that's the current energy that you're in right now. You're currently feeling, this is how you're feeling. Um, right now, I feel like you're not even paying attention to this person. Maybe you were in the past, <clears throat> but I feel like you're very so focused on yourself right now. I feel like this person isn't really something that you have on your mind significantly. I feel like um, you're just kind of doing your thing. You know, the nines are the last the last cards of the, the mini cycles. You know, it's a cycle of including of assessment and power and ends with standing alone with 
what we're what we've created so I feel like you were waiting you were thinking about that but now you're actually seeing it and you're seeing all the things that you've created you know and all these cards we see a, um, a celerity figure who has to come to terms with the decisions and actions and the results if they you know if they've create what they've created for themselves so I feel like um, I feel like you are very um, you're very independent you have been focusing on yourself I feel like you've been focusing on your bag and your money and you're trying to you know focus on your achievements you know your individual of achievements I feel like you are in solitude right now you've been taking time to yourself see she's just working on shit over here she's like not even looking that way again you're looking down here you're looking away again you're not looking over that way at all I feel like maybe you were at one time um but I feel like you have a wonderful life that you've created with the, all of the efforts that you've put in. Um, I feel like you're very disciplined and I feel like you have a lot of confident, confidence. And I feel like this person sees that and I feel like that attracts them even more to you. So not only do you have ambition, but you also are very, you know, self-focused. And I feel like they like the fact that you are very, um, that you have a lot of self-worth. I really do. I feel like this person, maybe the person with they with, maybe doesn't have a lot of um, drive to do much. I feel like that person, delete, you know, depended on them a lot. I feel like that person was independent or codependent. Like I said, it was a very toxic situation. But they like this about you. Okay, they were viewing you as strength. You're viewing them as death and rebirth. Can't see this. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I just noticed this too. So how they were viewing you. Remember I said they see you as somebody with like infinity. I don't know if this is a crazy, I didn't even notice it before, but look, in the middle of the death and rebirth, there we have the infinity symbol again. So I feel like you guys are meant to be. This is something that the divine has meant to happen. Definitely. I feel like you're seeing this person as ending a cycle, which they are. They're going through something right now. They're going through turmoil. I feel like you, you're seeing them going through a death of a situation and they're trying to rebirth something new they're trying to start their life over and it's with you okay now the mutual energy that the both of you have is the three pentacles it's a collaboration it's working together it's coming together to work on something and i feel like that you guys both you but you both share this energy so you both can see yourself working together very well you both mutually want together Ten of Cups. I mean, can you get any better than that? Maybe you want children. I don't know. Maybe one boy, one girl. I don't know. But this people are sitting on the damn rainbow and they're like happy as shit. It could be a same-sex relationship. I'm only saying that because it's two females here. It doesn't have to be. So if that's yours and, it, and take it and resonate, then it's yours. Um, if not, that's okay. Then I feel like the challenge is... In the situation or the intentions of, of this person and your intentions I feel like if you guys are on the same um, wavelength and you you can make it you know trust and trust one another and you can open up I feel like the, the intentions of both of you is the ten of pentacles the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles I mean come on and the lovers Shh, you don't even know this is destined this is like one hell of a connection they love you Scorpio and I feel like you love them too. But I feel like it's all about you letting your guard down and just taking that risk. And damn, I know that's hard. Especially when you feel like you've been wronged by somebody. Especially whenever the relationship started out with them cheating on somebody or wanting to cheat on somebody. But I feel like maybe this wasn't typical of them. And let me just say that if they are the type of person that was a cheater or a fuckboy like, that we got... Um, I feel like with you it's different and I'm not just trying to be phony and fake for this reading and trying to make somebody super excited. I mean the cards speak for itself. Um, you don't have to believe me if you don't want to. I mean it's ultimately your decision but I think that this is somebody who really truly loves you. I think they see it all with you Scorpio. I think that they're absolutely infatuated by you and I feel like they definitely would be somebody who could make you very happy emotionally. And I feel like you would also be abundant and you guys would have great wealth, like material wealth. I feel like, you know, this person, um, 
They see you as somebody who's strong. This person has very high views of you. They look at you and I feel like they definitely are somebody that puts you on a pedestal. And I feel like you are definitely a wish fulfillment for this person without a doubt. The star's not out here, but honestly, I feel like that's somebody, They that's how they see you. Spirit's telling me yes, so yes. They see you as somebody who possibly they never thought they could get. I think it shocked even them. But this person wants you. <laughs> they want you so bad, and I feel like they are ready. I feel like they could even want to start a business with you. I mean, they might have this idea, but they just haven't yet to tell you. They're manifesting it currently. Good reading. Very good reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull some love messages. And we'll end this reading. It's getting kind of long. Don't forget to hit that like button if this is resonating. Please comment. Please, please, please. It helps my channel grow. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you staying this um, this long. I really, truly do. Because this channel's new and I'm just trying to get it to grow. And I would be so happy and grateful if you did. Um, eventually, I'm going to wind up putting something um, changing. I haven't came up with it yet to where... If you comment your name um, or something, we'll figure out. If you comment some stuff and like it, then I'm going to offer free readings. Um, we'll do that for a little bit. I haven't figured out exactly what it is. If you have any suggestions, please put them in the comments below. I'm definitely open to them. So let's go ahead and pull a couple love messages, and then we'll end this reading, Scorpio. I like this reading, though. The energy is super awesome. Let me see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. see what messages we got here have here you know what song i keep hearing in my head um god this could be significant let's hear that song um it's by freya writings i believe and it's called i think it's called lost without you super beautiful song um i keep hearing that so Maybe you might want to look that up. It's called, it's by Freya, F-R-E-Y-A, writing. It's called Lost Without You. I think I'm lost without you, I think is what it's called. I think I'm lost without you. Yeah, something like that. I'm not a singer, so don't laugh. Let's see. So that could be significant, but I feel like um, that song maybe is something that this person listens to i don't know Let's see okay any messages from this person that is on scorpio's mind what they would like to say right now please Let's see how many i got yeah that's funny okay this is a lot Okay. <laughs> this is quite a few. That's okay. We'll take him. We'll take him. Okay. So the first card says, hopeless romantic at heart. So this person is very romantic. You might not know that. Okay. No one gets me like you do. Mm. They don't compare to you. Mm-hmm. I, print, I pretend to not care, but I truly only want you. I'll never be able to move on from you. Ever. The coolest chick I know is you, babe. I want to make love to you. No matter how I act, I have always wanted your love. I'm sorry for being so guarded. I've had bad past relationships. I'm working on it. They try to copy you and be you. Creeps me out. So this other person they're with try to act like you and it, freak, it freaks them out. Arm candy. Proud to be seen with you. So this person thinks you're beautiful. You're like the trophy wife to them. I want a family with you. Only you. So they want a family with you, Scorpio. Very hopeless romantic. That's it. Okay, Scorp. This is where the reading ends. Um... This is where we part ways. Thank you so much for joining my channel. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, bye.